I'm here with Stephanie, my very Hi. dear friend. Hi. Um, what, what a wild and wacky season the Christmas season is, huh? Yes. It can be busy and crazy, but yet full of joy. Yeah. Peace, just friendship and, and people that you can feel your, yourself with mm -hmm. is a wonderful thing to be mm -hmm. thankful for. In this season, Steph, is there an ingredient that you could say that you think you always, when you when you get this ingredient, you always receive joy? Is there a certain ingredient like that? Yeah, I think the ingredient that I have to go back to is remembering how God has come through for me, you know? Because you're gonna see in a couple minutes um, some ingredients that are mushed together and whirled together and in the crazy stirring of life, things can get so wild and it's so easy for everything to just start sitting on us in the craziness. And for me, during those times, I have to kind of take a step back and I have to remember what God has done. And that leads me to a place of um, being thankful again, which I think is a key ingredient for to live joy-filled. Yeah. So I was thinking of that verse this morning that said the psalmist was going on about how things were really um, hard in his life. There were questions that he had. There were situations that he was facing. And he said he was just going on about everything that was going wrong. And then he said, to this thought, I will appeal the years of the right hand of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And that verse kind of put in other words is, I will recall the track record of God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to remember how He came through. Yeah. I'm going to remember how He brought peace in the midst of my storm. Yeah. I'm going to remember how He came through when it didn't even look like there was a way out. I'm going to remember the times that He took my pain and He brought joy out of it yeah. on the other side. So I think for me it's remembering and looking back at the years of the, the most high, yeah. the years of, of God's track record and how He's come through. Faithfulness. Well, he's so faithful. Well, that's a wonderful agreement, the faithfulness of God and being thankful for the faithfulness yes. of God. Yes. That kind of pretty much brings us to joy. What are you making today? Today we are going to make some strawberry pie. Yes, who oh, doesn't like pie? Like but listen, this pie is like not this. full of all sorts of nasty. Yes. This is healthy pie. Which, how can you find healthy pie, right? Not very often. I know. So we are going to system up. Yes. <laughs> this is not a high, like, this is no gluten. This is no flour. This is no refined sugar. So this is some yummy stuff, though. Um, so what we're going to make is a pie crust out of dates and almonds. So, who would have thought that those two ingredients can make a yummy pie crust, but they really can. And the beauty of this is you can mix it up ahead of time, put it in your pie plate, freeze it, and then whenever you need a quick dessert, it's all ready for you. So you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your almonds, you're gonna put it in your food processor or your Nutribullet, put them in by themselves. Otherwise, if you put the dates in right away, it gets really pasty and mushy and it, it, it'll kind of stick and, and make life a little bit harder in this recipe. So put your almonds in first. You want to just grind them up so that they're really fine. Then you're gonna pit Take the pits out of your dates. Put the dates Very in. Very important. To take yes. The pits yeah. Out don't. Dates. They're pretty hard. They will do damage to your yes. teeth. Don't do it. <laughs> so you're gonna take your dates. You're gonna put those in. You're gonna mix them all around. Put them together. And then all you're gonna do. There's no baking in this pie without baking. Again, that's a win in my book. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna put this in your pie plate. You see, I have a little, some little chunks of almonds and dates. That's kind of yum. But you can also just make sure that it's really fine so that you don't have that. You're going to smush that in there, just a, a nice layer to cover the pie plate. You're going to put it in the freezer. And then again, you can use it the next day. You can use it a week later. I've actually stored these up to a month when they're wow. covered really nicely. So once you have that and when it's time to make your pie, you just pull it out of the freezer. I like to add some, I take some frozen strawberries, which I already have prepared. I let them thaw a little bit so that you get some of that yummy juice going on. 
And then you just spread them out so yummy. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I've tasted your pie, it's very good. It is and by the way, the recipe is on the website. Yes. All the specifically ingredients are there. So. Yeah, four ingredient pie, you, you can't go wrong. And then I like to use Cocoa Whip. Uh, actually, my friend introduced it to me. Is, is, yes. it, is it this friend? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so there's some Cocoa Whip here. So that is dairy free. And look at that yumminess. You're just gonna put that on there. Spread it around. And it's actually very healthy for you. It's it like is. Low, in, low in sugar, yeah. high in good in, in good fats. Yeah, and it tastes so yummy. I have one of my daughters, she pulls it out of the freezer and gets a spoon and just eats it. It's good on coffee, so, I'm just saying. It's good that is, and hot chocolate. That is also true, I've done that too. So you're just gonna put this around, make it like that, all pretty. Take some strawberries for garnish. There you go. One more because strawberries are so yummy. Let's go. Ooh, that's pretty. And there you go. You can put this in the freezer. When you're ready to serve it, just give it about half hour, 45 minutes to soften up a little bit so it's easier to cut. But look at this. How about a yummy holiday pie for you and your family that is guilt-free? Enjoy.